Hi, good morning. Here's an abbreviated vlog for Tuesday. So today, finally, for the first time in several weeks, we're caught up on the vlogs. I finished the last four or five this morning. Uh, we're present as of yesterday, so that's great news. Otherwise, today my dad came back from Denver. I picked him up at the airport. I came back here. I picked up a big box from FCP Euro. Uh, the box was undamaged, which was good, but they forgot two items. This time, a fan clutch an expansion, and an expansion tank. I thought, oh, they probably separated, not a fan clutch, the fan blades in the expansion tank. So I thought they probably separated those parts and put them in their own box because those are bulky. Looked at the shipping manifest and no, they, they were shipped in two boxes. One of them was the radiator, which I got separately, and the other one was this box that does not include those two items. So tomorrow I have to go back to FCP and open yet another support ticket and have those items overnighted. I'm not in a huge hurry, it doesn't delay me. It's just really, really frustrating and annoying that they can't put the items that I pay for in the box that they send me, especially when it takes two weeks to get here and I pay $25 in shipping alone. Otherwise, today, it was just a frustrating day. I feel like I kind of lost a day having to run down to the airport and back. A, and then B, I had a few customers call me on the phone this afternoon, chewed a ton of time, uh, kind of talking my ear off about random stuff and parts for their car. And I'm not in the parts market anymore, though I am interested in selling the inventory that I have in stock, of course. And I am interested in giving my customers the best support that I can. And, uh, and then that's part of the job. But that chewed a couple hours today to pull down some parts and the three that I had, none of them were complete. So I had to move parts around and make them complete and do a little bit of research and then get the dimensions and the weight. And it's way more than any of us want to pay for shipping for that item. So it's, it's just annoying. But I did get trunk struts installed on the 530 today. The ones that were on there were Euro brand. You have to use all the strength in your arms to lift that trunk lid up. Those Euro, U-R-O parts are hot garbage absolute trash. I've heard the window regulators are maybe okay and their stainless bleed screw for the inline six uh, radiators is, is okay. Otherwise, crap, literal crap parts. So I threw those straight in the trash, put stabilist struts on there, way better. I also put a fresh set on my car. They're cheap enough. I can get them wholesale cheap enough. So I just pop those on my own M5. And I didn't realize it had been six years since I last changed those, but now that the trunk is nice and springy once you get it up more than six inches, and I can still drop it to close it, which I love about my trunk. Um, otherwise today, let's see, I got the eccentric shaft sensors on the N62 and the 745. So that's progressive. We're ready for valve cover installation there probably tomorrow. My dad's back in town, so I need the extra hands for tooling and just the extra help and honestly emotional support to get those suckers back on. So uh, that's the plan. Larissa heads to Cabo tomorrow for a couple of days. She's going on vacation with her friend. She's going to have a blast. Went down, had dinner with her, watched the Laker game down there tonight. I'm home. I'm going to bed. We'll talk tomorrow, Thursday. Good night.